Facundo, um, Pedro, Pedro talked about the need to change the culture within the company um, as being a, you know, one of the primary challenges. Um, can you talk a little bit about you know, the sort of magnitude of that challenge uh, and some of the strategies that you guys pursued as the compliance um, executives um, to start to really, uh, and to begin to change that culture? Yeah, the, I, 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 as changing the culture into in, of, of a company, it's kind of one of, of the main challenges. I think we're, kind of the approach we, we, we took, I mean, at some point, at, at, at that point in time, uh, we needed to uh, implement and to design and implement the compliance programs. Uh, in the same time, we, we need to, to conduct or implement uh, certain remediations in order to comply with the with the with the, the several standards under under the specific investigation, uh, and and regarding specifically the, the change of culture, I think uh, it's kind of key to communicate a lot to communicate a lot inside the, inside the company. Probably one of one of uh, uh, good approach we, we we have taken was visibility on the regarding the compliance function, uh, uh, meaning. Uh, Really being really close to the business, just to to be seen as a as a, as an advisor, providing legal advice in real time, uh, safe safe advice. Uh, just the people need to see you, or the different layers of the operations of the company needs on one side to understand which is what is compliance. Uh, at this point in time, you need to communicate a lot. You need to conduct a lot of trainings about that. Uh, that was really kind of challenging in the middle of the investigation, in the middle of the re implementation of, of certain remediations, which, by the way, uh, some, some remediations, they start in, in early June 2000, 2015. You, you really need to get um, exposure or visibility within the company. You need to walk the company. You need to walk to the, uh, all the stakeholders. One of the key components was like uh, kind of you, you, I think you need to, to really understand uh, which is uh, the, the entire set of, of, of operations on the company. At some point, uh, you need to kick the tires of the entire operations. Probably you need to travel uh, just to understand, to cover all the aspects in this case of tornadoes, of TV production or, or sporting uh, or organizing uh, uh, events. Uh, but I think it's visibility on one side, the key, one of the key takeaways on the other one, um, communications by several ways, but either training, communications informally, without uh, with, inside the company, within the company, on a day day to day basis, and then you have other other channels like like emails, uh, uh, TV screens that are uh, displayed around the company. You really need to get into the fabric of of, of, the, of the company, into all, all the production team just that they understand with what is compliance and, 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 and you don't need to, uh, to overwhelm kind of the, the entire company about that, but you need to communicate really, really sharp or really specific on, on, on what is compliance what, and what are the expectations of, of all the employees. Um, 